the end of the year Everywhere on TV Couples and Christmas trees Gift wrapping and cheese Hi and welcome back to another vlog um, So New Year's Eve is fast approaching um, and um, I'm trying to decide what to wear um, I think it's a great occasion to maybe wear something sparkly and something that you wouldn't maybe necessarily wear at other times in the year. So um, I was gonna ask your help uh, to help me pick out a dress. Um, so the first dress I have is um, a sparkly or sequined Balmain mini dress. Um, I bought this a few seasons ago, probably just before the pandemic hit. And to be honest, I haven't had a lot of occasions to wear it. I did wear it last year, I think for the first time or second, it was the second time, or maybe, yeah. I haven't worn it that much, but I wore it to the Fashion Awards um, last year, which was great because at least I got to take it out. Um, it's, um, what I love about this dress is that it's quite chic and although it's sequined, it's still quite understated it goes in at the waist so it accentuates that and it makes your legs look really long but it is really short um next dress is another mini dress this is a tuxedo dress with um pink edging and what makes it a little bit different is it has this beautiful bow on the back again um i think i've only worn it a couple of times as well um this was from zara actually um but it looks like a designer piece when you wear it um it's quite a fun piece because of the bow um but from the front it's you know quite understated but there's a a party going on in the back so this is another option and my last option so i've refined it down to just three um is this um wrap dress from Dime von Furstenberg. Um, again, haven't really worn it much, so that's why I didn't buy anything new for New Year this year. Just because I was like, I've got so many dresses that I haven't really worn and, you know, cause I wanted to wear maybe something sparkly or something a bit different. I just was like, there's no point in perhaps buying another one. And I haven't really seen anything in the shops that I particularly loved and I just kind of think these dresses were better so this this is a great dress it's very long um but um yeah it's quite stunning but let's go through them so what I love about this dress is um the sequins um it does have a slight pattern in it but it's very very um, subtle. Um, as I said, it cinches in at the waist, so it accentuates it. And then the zip at the back um, is quite a nice touch. And then you have these um, exaggerated shoulders, so it gives this kind of contemporary look. And it's very sort of signature style of a Balmain um, since Olivia Rasting took over, he, he did the jackets to have those sort of bigger shoulders. And but in this dress, um, he definitely had them in there. Um, with this dress, I would wear um, just a plain pump, probably a black patent pump um, to accentuate my legs. And it just, it doesn't need much. So I think very simple, um, you know, accessories, I think minimal to be honest, and maybe a pair of studs and just a pair of black paint sh shoes and um, a little clutch. With this dress, um, I think a nice drop earring will look lovely with this, um, just to sort of finish it off. It is quite stunning, quite striking. Um, and as it's New Year and I kind of feel like 2022 was like, you know, a better year. Like why not celebrate it and wear something fabulous? Um, you know what I love about this dress 
from Zara is that, again, it's quite understated. Um, what I love about this dress is the bow. It's so different and, you know, a really fun piece. And it's just something I just don't wear as much as I'd like to. Um, uh, again, this dress is very, very short, um, accentuates your legs, but um, I think it can look quite cute. I think for this dress you need to have your hair either up in a ponytail or in a chignon. If I do wear it, I will probably wear my hair up in a chignon to show off the bow. Um, and then I just team it with some um, black pumps, perhaps um, some Jimmy Choo ones that I have with a slight um, sparkly detail on it. When picking out a New Year's outfit, I think the most important thing is that you're comfortable. Um, you know, you're going to be in it all night. Um, you're probably going to be dancing. Um, you might get a little tipsy. So, you know, you don't want something that, you know, maybe you're going to trip over. Um, equally, I think you should buy something fabulous because it's the one time of year when you can get dressed up. And, you know, in today's culture, I think we're much more casual than we used to be. So I think it's that one time of year when I'm just like, let's just get dressed up. Um, bring out the sparkles and enjoy yourself. Uh, leave a comment below to let me know which dress you like the best um, as I still haven't decided what I'm going to wear yet so I would love your help in picking out an outfit. Thank you so much um, for watching and thank you so much to everybody that's liked and subscribed to my channel. I really enjoyed starting this vlog in 2022 and I hope to see you all in 2023. And if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do now. Um, see you very soon. Bye. Oh, and have a very happy new year. the end of the year everywhere on tv couples and christmas trees gift wrapping and cheese